Once again, there are big news about Fault. A new update just got announced, Fault Patch 3.1. By that, Boris is in the game now and so he is the first playable hero that has never been released in Paragon. Furthermore, several bugs were fixed, we have first leaked real 5v5 gameplay of Boris and Steel with the new HUD and we have new information about the new hero ability system. All that you'll learn in the following. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, my name is Chris and it's your man Sharks. This is just a real quick informative video about the updates of Fault, which I also upload in English and in German and will be added to my video series Paragon 2 All Important Facts. In the background you can see First League 5v5 gameplay of the Deuce and Testers of Fault showing the new patch and you have to say it's already looking so much better with the new HUD. Just recently Strange Matter Studios announced Fault patch 3.0 with which Steel came to the game and early access got confirmed for May 8th. Now we already have another big update with patch 3.1. As I mentioned, Boris is in the game now. If you don't know Boris from Paragon, that's because he has never been released while Paragon was still playable. He was just a concept at that time and had no developed kit. First, when all Paragon assets had been provided by Epic Games for the Unreal Engine 4, also Boris' character model and his voice lines have been published. By the way, that's something I missed to tell you in my last video about patch 3.0. Steel also has its hero voice lines and all other heroes in Fort will also get their hero voice lines implemented, which they never got in Paragon, but were already listenable on YouTube for example. This means the heroes make sounds when they attack, jump, suffer damage or say some funny lines. Additionally, we know more about the structure of the new hero ability system. From now on it is going to be a little different than it was when we were able to test the game. Every hero will have 4 active abilities just like we are used to it, plus a unique passive ability. Boris is the first hero in Fort who is built with this system and the others will follow. How this new ability system will affect the faction system hasn't been told yet, but if you want to know more about all the game mechanics before patch 3.1, I also uploaded a video about this in more detail. In addition to that, many bugs have been fixed as well, including some caused by steel. Minion movements were improved and first visual effects got implemented for items. Also the cool commentator voice tells you now when you got a multi-kill like in Paragon. Double kill, triple kill. About the upcoming replay mode, we don't have new information, but I'm personally already looking forward to the following updates. If you don't want to miss out on any updates of Fault and of course all the other Paragon-like games, I'd be very happy if you subscribe to the channel. This way you'll be the first to learn when you'll be able to play Paragon again. This should be it for now, I hope I could help you out with this video, so just like always, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day!